Joseph, welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Divorced wife discovers TikTok and decides to do what? Start talking shit about her husband. Well, technically her ex-husband. She decided to share what exactly made her get her divorce. She's getting pretty popular because people are split. The men don't like what they're hearing. The women, of course, are cheering because if you think of like a divorced modern woman's starter kit, we've got to agree, man, that TikTok is definitely one of those four items. What are the other three items? I'll let you guys figure that out in the comment section down below. But this video is captioned, telling my husband I want a divorce. No more wasting time. Let's check it out. I can remember when I told my ex-husband I wanted a divorce. Hmm. It was December 2019, and he was completely shocked, completely caught off guard, like dumbfounded, devastated, everything else. But the month before that, November of 2019, I remember very clearly having yet another talk with him about how unhappy I was. Let's hear it. But this particular conversation... He was in his man cave room playing video games, right, which was like right. his favorite activity. And um, I go walking in and I tell him, like, I really want to talk about our marriage. Like, I'm not happy. It feels like we're, we're roommates at this point and I don't really have a partner, blah, blah, blah. This man was wearing his headphones because he was playing with a friend and they like talked to each other. He didn't even take his headphones off. He just pulled it off his right ear. I can still, this is almost four years ago now. I can still remember he pulled it off his right ear Mm -hmm. and he didn't pause the game or stop playing. He continued to play a video game while his wife was standing in front of him telling him how unhappy she was in the marriage. And I remember when he said to me something about like marriage being forever and whatever. And I said to him, well, maybe some marriages aren't meant to last. And he got so mad at me for saying that, but he didn't stop playing video games to to have the conversation with me. And if that doesn't perfectly sum up why I divorced this man, then I don't know what does. The naive will look at the situation and say, how dare he not stop what he's doing to entertain this conversation because it's very important here's the problem with that story because clearly she's told us everything that's wrong with the husband and how he conducted himself during that conversation are we allowed to talk about what she could have done better are we allowed to do that can we start with the fact that maybe you should wait for a better time to introduce serious conversations and not a time when you see that he's focused. Oh, but it's just video games. Okay, um, it's just your nail appointment. It's just your alone time. It's just you need space right now. Most women would expect men to respect those things. But you got to be very careful, man, when you're listening to women share stories about their ex-significant other, in this case, an ex-husband. You guys remember that video I did of the lady that talked about how as a therapist, a marital therapist, she had to learn how to, she had a mentor who taught her how to not believe women's lies. And it's really actually fascinating. And I do mean actually fascinating. Almost like a talent, just how great women are at telling stories how they'll captivate you, how they'll remember things in detail. Men are simple. They'll they'll tell a story like, ah, she had this problem and that problem. Man, I don't even want to talk about it. But no, they will start at the height and climax of the most emotional moment. They'll describe what that man was doing, how she was feeling. But the whole time, she's not talking about what she could have done better. That's the problem I have with a lot of um, these situations is when I hear somebody telling a side of the story and they don't say, here's what I could have worked on. I mean, since you're out here, because I wouldn't, again, suggest people come out on TikTok and talk about their marital problems. But I'm assuming since she's telling a story like this, this is how she would tell it to anybody else who wants to hear it 
in her life. It's always his fault. Could you have waited for a better time? That's number one. Could you have started it off better too? Could you have said, hey, you know what? I know you're busy right now, but there's something really important I want to talk about. I hope you're enjoying your game. But when you get time, I'd like to talk about this thing. Sure, men don't like those talks, but at the end of the day, that's more appreciated and he will come more collective and ready to take you in instead of stonewalling and, and avoiding you. But he'll be more prepared to have that conversation instead of you just barging in and talking about how you're unhappy because you're upset. This is what, and here's what's really going on, right? What's really going on is she's upset that he's not as unhappy as she is. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. And in that moment, she looked over and said, this man's not miserable. I am. I'm willing to let go of this marriage. And it upset her. Seeing the happiness on his face, seeing that he had a piece of happiness still left in that video game that he was holding on to in this relationship. We're going to keep listening to the rest of these videos, but all I got to say, man, you got to be careful with believing women when they tell stories just for face value for what they're saying, because there's a lot that they'll leave out, much like the female therapist who talked about how manipulative women are when it comes to telling stories. She had to unlearn that, and you kind of have to unlearn that yourself. Not saying that men are never wrong here. They're definitely men who women, yes, do need to leave and divorce this however sounds like there were other issues that she's not talking about which she contributed to let's keep listening and i feel like this is a very common trend i hear about this type of stuff a lot where the wife had expressed her concerns for months or even years and then when she finally says all right i am like i've done everything i could do i want a divorce then the husband's like what do you mean? What's happening? I love you. Please don't leave me. Please don't take my kids from me. It's like, you should have put in effort. You had the opportunity. We give you so many opportunities to do the right thing. Okay, calling your ex-husband a B. Noted, let's keep listening. Father of your children, calling him a B in public on camera. What do you guys think of that? Let's keep listening. You chose not to. This is now the repercussions of your actions. Am I wrong? Okay. So then this came. A flood of comments. Of course, we're going to check the comments out here. Like we always do on the coffee pod. It's really easy for women to find communities on TikTok. But once in a while, that algorithm will push the content to the men who can see through some of the BS and what you're sharing this first commenter says he's probably playing his video games in peace now with the laughing emoji somebody else here added he's happier now too here's another person who says a man respects the vow of marriage and will stay with you even if they are unhappy this is true somebody else here added he is so much happier guaranteed let's not forget that during the vows she promised sickness health happiness all these things terrible and she didn't mention this part. <laughs> and here comes the risk of marriage to those like myself who still value marriage. You know, you got to be careful and you also got to accept the reality that it's one day at a time. And but in the end, there are obvious reasons, obvious reasons that I could see that that man was frustrated in that situation. And when you have somebody who can't see simple things like hold on wait for a better time to talk then it um spirals into a situation that eventually cannot be fixed hey guys did you know that i'm on facebook go ahead and hit that link pinned to the top of the comment section if you're on facebook give me a follow you can keep track of current content shorts and also older content if you are following me on facebook appreciate you guys back into the video here's another comment that says lesson don't start an important conversation while your husband is focused on another thing. Come on now. Somebody else here says, I told my husband two years ago, so we have another divorced woman here, that I was done. I hung in for two years. Oh my gosh. <laughs> to see if anything would change. 
I decided three weeks ago to leave him. Oh, wow. They're like twins over here. Because I think she said she just recently... No, 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 no. My bad, my bad, bad. She said she recently got on uh, TikTok. Not recently got a divorce. It's been a while for the main trick of his video. Goes on to say he is so shocked and said he doesn't understand why I left. Somebody else here added, basically, they're fine with you being married and being unhappy. It's not your unhappiness that bothers them. It's they are losing access to the benefits of marriage. How about it's the fact that you lied on about your vows? Somebody else here says, don't listen to these men making these comments based on your video. You are absolutely right to leave the marriage. Sounds like you've got a good one now. So she's dating and she has a boyfriend now that she says is nothing like her husband. Everything's amazing. But more on that later. Here's somebody else who says priorities. If you care, you make time. I usually don't interrupt my husband when he plays games. But if I ask him to spend time with me, he would stop. Sometimes I don't even need to ask. It's best you ask. And based on what I see here, she's done this multiple times. The last thing a man wants as he's sitting there enjoying himself is for a woman who he probably does not feel respected by to barge in and just start releasing negative energy into, into the atmosphere. It could be anything. But when it's really, really, really serious, it's best to plan and talk about those things. And if you guys don't have a system set up to discuss and say, how are we going to have serious conversations? Then that's the first thing that needs to happen. You need to decide how are we going to introduce serious conversations? People, people don't want to um, agree on how to handle things. But again, I think in that moment, she let her emotions take over and just went over there. And she, and when you do that, you don't usually get the reaction you want. Another person who says they're always blindsided after being told 5,000 times what the problems are and failing to address them. I see this constantly in my work. Hmm. So this lady's handle is high conflict strategies. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine how, how much difficult marriage would actually be or relationships if men complained as much as women. I mean, I'm basing this off these videos that I see, man. These videos that I see, obviously women are the ones with the complaints. You're telling me there's nothing you did wrong, nothing that that man has to complain about. We're just going to believe your side. Somebody else here says, my ex was absolutely blindsided, in quotations, with the eye roll emoji. He had completely checked out of our family. I decided if I was going to do everything alone, I may as well be alone. And so what followed next was another video she released with the title, Woman Haters. <laughs> Woman Haters. She's talking about you, man. She's talking about you. And probably me too, unfortunately. It hurts. Even though we love women, especially women who drink coffee. Let's get into this next video. Boy, I really pissed off all the middle-aged divorced men last night mm -hmm. when I posted about my ex-husband and the end of our marriage and like why I finally was like over it and wanted a divorce. And 95% of the posts from the men were immediately assuming that I'm a money-grubbing because all women are and that my expectations were obviously too high and mm. my ex-husband should be allowed to play video games because he works so hard to put a roof over my head mm. and you know he deserves to be happy and obviously i'm not happy so i'm trying to make him miserable and it's just funny that that's the assumption like right, that's right, right. the baseline assumption that because i'm a woman i my expectations are unrealistic and that poor man he's just trying to live his life mm. Y'all weren't there to see the hours and hours of me begging him to like interact with our children, um, interact with me. You know, it's like he didn't want to be bothered with any part of having a family. He wanted the. Oh. Oh. He wanted the kids <laughs> on paper, but he didn't want any of the responsibility that came. I got to stop. My bad, bro. With it. He didn't want to have to actually put in any effort to maintaining that. And it's like, but because I finally, after years of begging him for more, I finally went to leave. I'm a money grubbing. Except I had to write him. By the way, guys, my, my editor is probably going to take that word out. She's saying she's a money grabbing W H O R. 
be. And she keeps on repeating that. I don't know if people actually called her that in the comment section. You guys need to chill out. You guys need to relax over there. What's wrong with you? My check when we got divorced because I made all the money. And yes, I kept the house in the divorce. But you want to know why? It's because the mortgage payment was more than he makes in a month. So if he, he couldn't have kept it if he wanted to. Damn, shots fired. This one was disrespectful, man. This trend on women getting on TikTok and saying disrespectful things like this is insane. Chisha, if you pause that video again, I swear, my bad. I'm done. But I also kept all, all of our marital debt. All of it. He got the paid off truck. His, he got the paid off vehicle. I kept all the debt. But yet the assumption is that women are money grabbing. Except for my ex-husband literally took everything he could get his hands on, including stealing the jewelry out of my jewelry box during our divorce to pawn it. But yeah, he should be allowed to play video games because it makes him happy. Who cares what other responsibilities shirking in the meantime? He let me do everything. I mowed the grass. I did. I was the only one that know how, knew how to use the snowblower. But yes, he was a man and he was trying real hard. So we should just let him keep using me because he, he meant well. He didn't mean well. He used me every chance he got. I will never forget when I was seven months pregnant, we were moving. And I was on my hands and knees in the flower beds, mulching the flower beds before the photographer could come and take like the pictures to put the house in the market. And he sat on the porch eating lunch and watching me. Seven months pregnant, my big old pregnant belly hanging down. And I was still doing all the yard work. My man now stops me when I try to take the trash out to the trash can myself. Aww. So I'm not a man Aww. eater. I'm not by a long shot. I found a good one and I, I'm keeping him and I do everything I can to make him happy. I cook him all his favorite things and I make sure the house is stocked with all the stuff he likes and he doesn't have to beg me for sex. Not once. Not once has this man had to beg me for sex. He can have it whenever he wants. Because he's stepped up to the responsibility and he treats me well. And so I treat him, I treat him well. And we're happy. Because he's doing what he needs to do and he's being responsible. And I'm doing what I need to do and I'm being responsible. And we are honoring each other and we are treating each other with respect. And nobody's using anybody. And it works because that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay. <sighs> Do you guys think there's anything wrong with that story that you just told? I'm curious. What are you? What? Are, what? Are, what were your first thoughts? Let me know in the comment section down below. Like, put like second video, video number two, thoughts. What are you thinking of that? Back to the point about modern women's ability to paint a picture and tell a story in a way that they are the victim. There's a few things I heard in there, and I said to myself, well, "That's not cool. That's not right." I would never do that. But then I thought to myself, I still haven't heard her say one thing that she did wrong in that relationship. She was perfect. And he was wrong. And if you if you, if you really take what she says for face value, you guys, and this is how this is how the, the the unfortunately women are great at telling stories and they'll paint the entire relationship like she has entire marriage, like they were no good times at all whatsoever. Because let's actually believe what she's saying. All he ever did was use you. Why did you marry a man who all he ever did was use you? That is a problem with choosing the right type of man. Why are you getting on here and complaining about a man who never did anything right whatsoever? And all he did was use you. We know that's not the case. At some point, you were talking about your ex-husband the way you're talking about the new guy who you're with right now. How amazing he is. When you were deciding to marry him, you didn't look at him and say, oh yeah, this guy I'm about to marry, complete piece of shit. Just terrible. No, you didn't. And so this is why it's really important to not take a lot of these stories for face value. Are there some that I do? Definitely for sure, you know, but, and she talks about the leaf blower thing. I'm the only one that knew how to use a leaf blower. Don't you find it odd that she just mentioned one tool that she's the only one that knew how to use? How about the other tools? 
Do you think her husband, if he was sitting here, would say, yes, she did all the housework. I never did anything. I'm a lazy piece of shit. No, he wouldn't. You're getting on here. And the real problem here is, and this is the real problem, you don't drink any coffee. I don't drink coffee. I know. I don't drink coffee. I know. But she wasn't done. She then ended this video with this last final video that was captioned men versus women. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. The comment section in the last few videos I've made has really gotten out of hand. Um, mm. These grown boys who have found my videos, whew, they sure have a lot to say, don't they? Right. You know, I just started TikTok a few weeks ago, started as far as filming, and I was just. Congratulations, ma'am. You are infamous. <laughs> hoping to kind of create a little community here of women similar to myself, you know, and I think that's what the majority of my followers are women in my general age group who've got similar life experiences. That's what I think most of us love so much about TikTok is that there's just so many people on here making videos that with a little bit of effort, you can find your tribe, right? You can find your group of people who have similar histories and experiences to you. And there's right, some right. peace in that. It's nice. It's a nice feeling. So while we were over here in our little clubhouse talking about our our experiences, and, and in my case, it was about my divorce, my ex-husband, these men just came and they kicked open the door and they told us just how silly and stupid we are. I'm sorry. How dare we, you know, tear apart our families to try to be happy. I had so many of the comments were, well, oh, at least you're happy or, oh, it's all about you being happy. Yeah. Yes. I deserve to be happy. I am a, a human being just like my ex-husband. And if he's happy playing video games, fine. He can go play his video games without me. So he can be happy and I can be happy. I don't know why these other men care so very much about that. But they actually have the nerve to say that the man's happiness matters more than the happiness of the woman. I don't know how you can say that with a straight face. Would you say that to your daughter or your mother? And if you would, then... Wait, didn't you just say that your happiness matters more than his? And I mean, that's what you basically said. That's why you left. It matters more to you. And I don't agree with that. I don't agree that the man's happiness, I don't think happiness should be, you can't go through a relationship, especially a marriage, judging it on just happiness. You're going to feel all types of emotions. There'll be great, amazing times. Sometimes you feel unhappy. Sometimes people will let you down. But basing the quality of a relationship based on happiness, of course, is just a recipe for disaster. Now, if the place is just complete dysfunction, when there's no hope whatsoever, and there's just so much horrible shit happening left and right that no one can go on. Yeah, I think people are realistic. Most people. But this is not what we're hearing here. This is common situation, unhappiness, I'm out, peace. You can't be helped, so there's no point in talking to you. You know, but I think these guys expect us to keep filling this traditional role, but they're not, they're not being traditional men. You know, you left us no choice but to take charge. Women are running the households now, why? I didn't really want to, I had no choice. Some not my household. What? <laughs> had to do it my ex-husband didn't step up to the challenge he wasn't the provider and the protector he wasn't doing all the things that you would have expected a man to do so i had to step in and be both the wife and the husband i didn't like it by the way i forgot to mention this in the last video she talked about her husband losing jobs like he would lose a job and um he had a difficult time keeping a job the last thing in one of the videos i saw she was like oh yeah he got fired i remember this one time he got fired and we had a trip plan and whatever. Yeah, that happens. And there, it's very difficult for a man to transition to a period of his life where he doesn't have consistent income. You work through it and figure it out because that's what you promised to do as the wife. As the wife. I remember seeing this in my own household. When my parents migrated here to the U.S., they had to uproot their careers and everything. And it wasn't always this balanced um, situation. Let's keep listening. You know, I learned a lot of skills I didn't think I'd ever have to learn. 
You know, I did it because I had no choice. And there's a lot of other women out there like that. We had to step up and be both parents, be both spouses because our ex-husbands and ex-boyfriends and whatever, they dropped the ball and they, they let us down. A lot of the men made comments about how you took a, a, a you made, you didn't take your vows very seriously. You made a, a promise before God till death do you part. Why am I having to, to hold up my vows to the day I die? But my ex-husband can just let me down in every way possible and that's okay why because he has a penis so what's dangling between his legs means that he's somehow superior and can treat me like shit but i gotta worship the ground he works on no no that's wrong that's wrong thinking walks on i don't think so i agree with that you know just because we collectively as a group us women had the nerve to demand respect and had the nerve to prioritize ourselves just a little bit just a little bit a little it's bit. got this whole group of men and i use that term loosely it's got this group of men just up in a tizzy like our happiness threatens their very existence for some reason it's wild and i bet you guys i i'm done no more videos i bet you this chick right here begged and pleaded for that man to get on that knee to marry her welcome to modern day marriage with modern minded women guys listen as always i'm curious to know what do you think leave your comments down below i appreciate you as always for checking out yet another episode of the coffee pot tonight's time i'm out peace